Why, yes, yes, this is some wine. Um, my friend told me how good wine and soda is, and yeah, it's really good. Not, not that soda, that's my chaser. I like some Merlot with ginger, Canada Dry Diet Ginger Ale. Anyway, I've been sick. I've been sick since, like, um... I've been sick on again and off again since August. And I missed a lot of work. And I know it's not good. And I missed a lot of YouTube. And I know it's not good. And I've actually been doing okay in my writing. Um, which is editing slash rewriting. And... I thought I would do a 2016 video. I've seen a lot of them out there. I know 2016 was a big year globally. And <clears throat> aside from the Cubs winning, which was a huge moment for me. Um, <clears throat> it's not been the best year ever. But I think I let that, not the global events, uh, get to me. But I definitely um, let the worry get to me. And I've moved in my house in August. And at first I was really excited because it was just in time for Emma. What you doing? Because it was just in time for a vlog every day in August. And I thought that was going to up my YouTube game. And it didn't. And then the clown craze happened in the south, which is where I live. Emma. My cat is behind my bookcase and it's weird. Um, and then I try to write a short story about the clowns. And I gave myself an impossible deadline. And I think that's what screwed me creatively. Because I gave myself an impossible deadline. I couldn't uphold it. And then I got a block like crazy for like four months. I couldn't make YouTube videos. I couldn't write. I couldn't edit. I didn't give a flying F about reading. I didn't, I didn't do anything from like September to October, November, December. Um, and then December happened and I gave up on writing the short story and... I started editing again. And I really fell in love with my main character, Charlie Vale. Really excited for In Need of Direction. Will come out in 2017. And that is my goal for this year. Like, legit goal is to create YouTube seven days a week. And to, yes, you heard me, seven days a week. And to finally publish In Need of Direction. I've been working on that story on again and off again since 2007. So 10 years is Emma. That's my foot. Emma! So 10 years is long enough, I think. But it was really workies. Workies. Worka. Workies. I'm like, <laughs> I always mispronounce your name. It was really one book, one reviews video. I'm going to go on a limb and say worky. I know you made a video about how to pronounce your name, and I still cannot pronounce your name. And it's not just the wine. But it was really her video. I'm going to leave a card up above. Um, the Keep It Real video. And that's been my other problem with YouTube videos. I always have this, I have extra lights, I have makeup, I have, you know, all these things to make my videos better, and I just have these unrealistic expectations on making these videos, and then I always say I don't feel like it, and then I don't do it, um, so that's going to change next year, when it's really Worky's video about 2016 and she was just really real about it and saying it was shit globally but was it so bad personally and yeah I got sick a lot and yeah I worried myself sick since I moved in August late July early August 
I have been worried about spending money. I have been worried about not spending money. I've been worried about the bills. I've been worried about missing so much work. I've been worried about what if I lose my job because I've lost a lot of jobs um, in the past three to four years due to budget cuts. And um, I've just been worried. And I, and I agree with her that if you worry so much, you create your own illness. And I am joining a gym. I keep saying that, but I am joining a gym, Planet Fitness. It's only $10 a month and there's no... <coughs> There's no contract. So I'm joining a gym and I'm hoping that helps immunity. And I hope it helps energy because I come home so tired. And that's the other thing. It doesn't matter if I wake up at 4.30, which has been my goal since 2013, has been my goal to wake up at 4.30 in the morning so I could edit before work. And um, I'm not, I make it like, once or twice, like every three weeks, it's really bad. And then I feel bad about not making it, and then I feel even worse. Um, I forget where I was going with that. But um, yeah, we worry ourselves sick, and then you get tired because you're sick. And then the thing, oh, this is where I was going with it. The thing is, I'm tired if I sleep in, right? So I'm tired if I sleep in. I'm tired if I wake up at 4.30. I'm tired if I wake up at 5 or 6. I'm tired at work. I'm tired at home. So the thing is, if you're always tired, at least be proud. So I at least want to be proud in 2017. So even when I'm tired, I still want to do the things. Like I still want to edit and I still want to vlog. And editing the vlog is the hardest part, I think. That's where I always fall short. Like, I have a lot of film vlogs with makeup and proper lights and everything. And I haven't published because I haven't um, edited. And that's just lazy. So I'm not going to be so lazy in 2017. And I hope going to the gym helps with that, too. Because I did really well when I lived in Chicago. And instead of sitting in traffic for an hour, I would go to the gym for an hour. And I, I've just felt better. So um, that's that's what I hope to accomplish in 2017. So I would give, if I had a rate, if 2016 was a novel and I had to rate it on Goodreads, I would rate it, I would rate it two and a half or 2.75 stars out of five because... It was, it was okay, but I felt trapped. I let this house trap me with my worry, and I got to stop that. So I'm going to say my money a little better, and I have a plan, though. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm going to publish In Need of Direction, and probably in the summer, and I'm going to... YouTube 365, 365 videos for 2017, once a day. Even when I'm sick and even on the holidays. Because I got to get out of this rut. So, and even when I'm sick, I'm still kind of sick. So let me know what you guys think about what you worry about and what your goals are for 2017. And if 2016 was a book, how would you rate it? All right, you guys. Peace out. Um, sorry for this kind of raw video, but um, hi, Emma. Hi. Emma says hi. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to sign out. So, yeah. See you guys later.